I've wanted to tell the story for 38 years. Hopefully it has some relevance as a story about race that's incredibly positive when people work together. In my whole life, I've had a great professional life. I've done some remarkable things, worked some best companies in the world, some of the best universities in the world. But my four years at Delaware State College stand out as the greatest four years of my professional life. Now here was a historically black school accepting a white coach for the first time in the 100 year history of historically black schools with over 100 schools. The book tells the story, uh, which to me is one of incredible triumph. Well, Joe and I had known each other years ago, and I remember years ago him talking about this and saying, oh, this would make a great book. I think of the most compelling parts of the story is the one, the friendship that was forged between black athletic director Nelson Townsend, who had to have incredible courage to hire me. The day he committed to Nelson, I don't think Joe knew, he committed. Nelson was not letting him out of that deal. The black community didn't necessarily approve of that decision, and I never anticipated the adversity we'd have to overcome when I got there. The first day was so brutal because I walked through picket lines, because the student center was packed with students, protesting me being on campus because no players would show up to my first players meeting because 17 scholarship players quit the day I took the job. You know, someone threw a brick through his office window and vandalized his office. For a lot of people, that's enough to say, I'm out. If not for Nelson Townsend, my AD, I would have left. And he said, Joe, look, you, for the first time in your life, are gonna be a minority. You're gonna be in the minority. You're gonna have to see it how other people see it. I worked hard to demonstrate a respect for their culture and the fact that they knew I cared, I think that meant a lot too. And I think they saw, hey, this guy is authentic and I may disagree with him on some things, but he's treating me like the young man that I am. Because in the beginning, we weren't very good. We were, we were wed together. Uh, we really created a deep bond and affection for one another independent of the color of our skin. I eventually get embraced by the entire community by my third year there, fourth year there. I was no longer the white football coach at historically black school. I was just Coach P. It makes it a really interesting story to me because it reinforces how deep Joe and Nelson believed in each other, that they walked through a long, deep, tough valley to get out the other side and they, and they never wavered on each other in terms of their commitment. 1983, we were very good, but we went down to Florida A&M, who we'd never beaten in our history, and they're a tremendous program. Uh, we beat them down there in a nail-biting game, and that victory just catapulted us. After we beat Florida A&M, I knew that we were for real. I, I knew that we had arrived. Uh, no question in my mind for me that was when it all turned. And I'd love to think that this book can give an example of two people, Nelson Townsend and Joe Przicki, who didn't have a whole lot in common outside of football. They forged this bond and this friendship and they kept moving forward and ended up building something that was unprecedented at Delaware State. It's never been done before or since. And I wanted to tell a story about a group of people, black and white, who came together, got past their differences, and to show that uh, bridges can be built. Bridges from one community to the other can be built. We're better off when we focus on what we have in common than those things that separate us.